So the new Arlecchino quest is out and in today's video I will go through it all again in summary and then also share my opinions on it about Arlecchino and everything. So let's get right into it shall we? So Paimon and the Traveler decide to go to Poisson where they met up with Lini and Arlecchino. Because of some unknown problems the entire House of the Heart organization was here in Poisson for the time being. In there Traveler and Paimon met new members from the House of the Heart, the ones they haven't seen before yet. Lini brings Paimon and the Traveler to the rented house where they found Fremine, who was hiding some secrets. Eventually, Lini encourages him to spit out the truth and so Fremine shows them the spot where he was keeping a child by the name of Clervy in a safe spot. Father was looking for her, but Fremine didn't want to hand it to her because of some betrayal. Lini then decides to help out Fremenet with protecting the little girl, then Lynette showed up. Eventually she also decided to help everyone out. While everyone was observing Clarvy eating, Clary mentioned a name Perry that no one has heard before. Then the group has split, Lini taking Clary outside to see the outside world, Fremenet goes asking around, Lynette searches for the execution list of ex-members from the House of the Heart, while Paimon and the Traveler go to talk with Arlecchino in order to distract her. Traveler and Paimon then found Tartaglia having a conversation with Arlecchino, so we met our ex Sharon once again, and he was our key to distracting Arlecchino by sharing stories and asking questions. We then successfully distracted the knave and then back back to the trio. Lini reveals that Clarvy could not go to the sunlight while Lynette has managed to find the execution papers. Yet they haven't found her name on there. Then Fremenet believed that other members had also met Clarvy. Fremenet then goes to keep an eye on members from the House of the Heart while Traveler and Paimon spot Clarvy whom we chased after. She then goes to the place at night where she couldn't before because there was sun before of course. She then tells us about a story of Doctor who is the second of the Fatui Harbingers that mother gave their failed children to these crazy scientists for experiments. Because of that information we asked Lini if the name and doctor worked together and Lini told us that she rejected all of his proposals except one. When we go to distract Arlecchino again she revealed to us that she knew our plans all along. She then tells Shrouder and Paimon to meet her at Palais Marmonia if they valued their friends lives. While Shrouder and Paimon released a bird that Lini gave us before in case the knave would suspect us. At Palace Marmonia, the knave didn't show much care for her children, instead was planning to execute them. But if they would remove Clarvy, she would not punish them, she stated, and also brought back our bird that we released before. Then we head inside Nuvelet's office, where Arachino made a proposal to Nuvelet, which she ended up agreeing to her proposal, then whilst we are back outside, we run into someone who looked like one of the members who were executed, that news guy did not recognize the knave at all, but she was nice to him, even buying some of the papers from him and acting like she knows him. Then the knave, Paimon and the trailer all together visited the ruins, where Arlecino decided to reveal her past to us. This destruction turned out to be a building where Clarvy and the previous fort of the Fatui Harbinger was, before Arlecino herself became one of the Harbingers. Her story explained who was the mother and who was Perry. The mother was the previous knife by the name of Crusabina, who was a horrible person, made children fight till one of them would become a king, and she was the one who handed her children to the doctor for experiments. While Perry is actually Perry Ware, which was actually Arlecchino's real name. While Clary is also dead and was the daughter of Cruz Sabina, Cruz Sabina lost her life in a duel against Perry Ware, therefore this is how Arlecchino became the knave. As for the Clary that Traveler and Paimon saw, those were some sort of shadows that fought into her 6 year old version since Clary died when she was 16 years old. Then all members from the House of the Heart arrived at the destination with the traitors so Arlecchino could finally punish them. Then Lini goes to defend the traitors, so do more of them and Arlecchino then decides to duel us. We then fought the knave yet we were unfortunately not strong enough to beat her. Then the knave decided instead of killing these traitors that she would make them leave the House of the Heart. They had to drink the potion that would erase their memories so they could get away from their so called father and live a normal and happy life. After the children left, Arlecchino talked to this 6 year old Clarvy, telling her the truth while Traveler and Paimon also shared their journeys. As dawn started to rise, Clarvy faded away. Lini then returns back and informs the knight that the potions were made for those who wanted to leave. Because of that, 
As Lily, Lynette and Fremet wanted to stay with their father, they didn't consume it. Two days later, we checked on Lynette and Fremet, who were recovering from the duel, that also revealed the ones that drank the potion lost their memories, therefore they could live the lives that they always wanted to. Overall, I would say that this quest was very good, probably my favorite story quest so far. There was a lot of lore and other interesting stuff in it. Though I have seen a lot of people complaining about that developers spoiled the quest by publishing that animation, which is understandable. Overall, I would say that my experience about this quest was decent, as they have pretty much already spoiled everything, but generally the story is just great, but to me it's no surprise that it's that great, as the Fatui ones have always very good stories anyway. Like we have Tartaglia's quest where we took care of his little brother, we encountered some funny moments and it was an overall entertaining and fun story quest, and then we had Scaramouche's quest in which he deleted himself from the history, an overall pretty fun and interesting quest too. As for the knave herself, I honestly don't think that she's a bad person, in fact if anything more like a hero. Unlike Cruz Sabina who never cared about her children and even killed a bunch of them, the knave actually cares and apart from killing Clarvi and Cruz Sabina in her dark past, I don't think that then she killed anyone else, as we all saw the familiar looking guy from execution papers. As much as I confirm is that that was actually him and what Arlecina basically does to her fell children or weak ones as their punishment makes them drink that potion which erases their memories though of course I won't even consider this as a punishment as of course they probably also get to decide whether they want to drink it or not but it is understandable on why Peruer is so much better than Cruz Sabina as Peruer had to go through Cruz Sabina and used to be one of the children who managed to make her way to one of the Fatui Harpingers therefore she cares about her children's well-being but still doesn't like weakness or betrayal, so I would say that Nave is a good parent, just very strict and threatening. Another thing is that Nave doesn't really like to talk much about her past and even misleads others if she has to, like for example many believe that she is from Fontaine, but in reality Arlecino is actually from Canaria, the same region from where Dainsleaf, Kaya and Albedo come from. Also soon I might make a lore video about Kaya or Albedo, so stay tuned if you wanna find out more about them. In other than that, that's all I had to say, it was a really good quest, we learned a lot of new things in here, we also get to know, you know, Arlecino better. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one.